Alright guys, what is going on and welcome to the first AFL round wrap up. We're starting off with round 5 here, just finished up last night, obviously it was a very long round running over about 5 days I believe it was. So first we'll be going through my tips that I got right and wrong for the week, giving some insight into that. Then we'll also be looking at my super coach, how I went for the week, you guys will get to see my team and we'll be looking at the ladder and this week's uh, well, the, the round they just passed gains, and I'll give my thoughts on that. I'll also look at some of the star players throughout the round. We'll start off with my tipping, where I got a uh, 7 out of 9. Now, as you can see here, I did tip Port Adelaide to defeat Carlton uh, by 32 points. I should have tipped them by way more. I knew they'd win by way more. I don't know, just some part. Uh, I'm, I'm used to tipping close-ish games for... Uh, Friday, Friday night footy, but obviously Carlton, no. 90 point victory there for Port Adelaide at the Adelaide Oval. No real surprise there. Uh, just an easy tip that everyone should have gotten. Western Bulldogs versus Brisbane Lions. I was scared for a bit that Brisbane had won this game, and I was like, oh, God. But, and then I was like, oh, wait, well, no one else would have gotten that tip right, so it doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah, Western Bulldogs brought it back in the end. Actually ended up with quite a big win there at 32 points. The difference, uh, they didn't deserve to win by that much. But I guess they did. Next, at Metricon Stadium, I got this one right as well. I did Adelaide over Gold Coast. Adelaide scored 153 away from home. So, they're not like West Coast. They're not only a, a, a home team. So, uh, yeah. Well, it was against Gold Coast. They absolutely smashed them as well. Well, but Gold Coast still managed to put up a score of 86. Like, that's respectable in game, uh, in other games. But obviously, it was just a high scoring match. Adelaide with the victory. Got this one right as well. GWS defeated Sydney. Sydney came out all guns blazing, four goals to start off the match. And I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> and then GWS obviously brought it back. Absolutely smashed them in the end. Glad to get that one right. At the SCG as well. At Domain, Frio come from behind. I believe the score was something like 41 to 18 at uh, half time. Frio come from behind. Shane Kirsten with the winning goal. I was so happy for my tips when that one went through. So I got all the games for Saturday correct. On Sunday, Geelong versus St Kilda. I tipped Geelong and they did get the victory. Probably deserved to win it by a bit less, but in the end. They came out on top at any had. First one we got wrong for the re for the week the week. I tipped West Coast over Hawthorne. Hawthorne at home absolutely smashed them. West Coast can't play away from WA. I swear to God, like it, it can't just be the MCG, can it? Because like they're absolutely incredible at du in, in WA. Hawthorne came out, answered their critics, and uh, even though they're still 1-4, that was a convincing win over a good team. The Tigers beat the Demons. There was a vlog yesterday that came out on the channel of me at this game. Quite an interesting game, this one. First three quarters, Richmond, we played absolutely horrible. We ended up winning... <laughs> Melbourne really should have won. Like, you can't lose those sort of games, but Melbourne did. And you can look at the percentage on the side of the screen right now. They have 101. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we get the win there. I get the tip correct. And then on Tuesday, uh, Collingwood lose to Essendon. Uh, it's a shocker, ain't it? I really, I really just... Mm, Collingwood messed up my tips, and they also messed up my super coach, which you will see in a second. Uh, good on yes, and then I guess Anzac. Uh, the two games were just absolutely incredible. I didn't go to the one on Tuesday, but I did go to Anzac Day. If it was absolutely incredible, so yeah, we end up with seven out of nine for the week. Uh, I I really thought uh, at, at, on Sunday, I really thought that I would get nine out of nine, but. Uh, it was a round of, it was, it was a crazy round of footy. Moving on to Supercoach, you can see my Supercoach team here. We have uh, 
a team value of 11 million 350,000 uh, you can see the full team obviously biggest money maker right here Andy Otten up to 344,000 we also got Curtly Hampton uh, Rob Murphy I wish he would have gone up a bit more but uh, he's still providing solid scores so I don't know not worth doing anything with him right now unless he gets up to like 450 Rory Laird uh, Taylor Adams and Sam Doherty uh, with uh, Tom Stewart and Ed Vickers Willis on the bench and then we also have in the midfield Paddy Dangerfield, the Bont, Nat Fife, Trelaw, Beams, McGrath, Powell Pepper, SPP and Brennan Parfit with uh, Toronto Pickett and Barrett on the bench. I really wish Barrett would get a game. Uh, Toronto's been pretty trash. <laughs> uh, and then Nankervis uh, is up to 483,000. I uh, did end up going with Nankervis and Sanderlands in the ruck. I was very reluctant to, but I went with them and they have provided the goods. We have Braden Proust on the bre on the bench on the bench as well. Wish he had played, get his uh, dollar up to 300k. In the forward line, we have uh, Luke Dalhouse, Josh Kennedy, Toby Green, Hoskin Elliott, Houston, and Yo with. Uh, Brett Eddy and Aaron Black on the bench. Let's move on to uh, the game that we actually ended up playing and you'll see how much of a shocker this really was. Alright, so if you're in my league you will know some of these scores uh, but I was in front the whole time and I ended up losing by 10 points because of Broomhead and Hoskin Elliott like <laughs> That's why it was because Broomhead played well, Hoskin Elliott played shit, and Heppel played well. Um, really wish I would have won that. 2190 is still a respectable score, but um, yeah, when you look at some of the other teams, like I scored more than a lot of other teams. I really think I should have uh, won that one. Well, it's not me, obviously, controlling the players. Obviously, if Yo had played a bit better, then we would have bunny won, wouldn't, wouldn't we? We would have bunny won. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, not much you can do. That is that done for the super coach and tips side of things. I'm also in a few other leagues, but I don't know. You guys probably... Oh, what I will show you. What I will show you is the ladder. Oh, my boy, Maxi. Uh, so I am at 6th right now, um, my friend Will is actually his first year, he's at 2nd, uh, I'm at 6th, I don't know how freaking Spaz is there, he's, he's freaking shit, ain't he? <laughs> but as you can see, we can see who's had a pretty easy run, like uh, Troll or an Order, only 4,800 scored against him. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty tight comp. Uh, I'm at 6th, I really should be higher, but uh, yeah, pretty shocking. Hopefully some of these lads can get a loss and I can get a win and shoot back up there. As you can see, the percentage and shit, that is the ladder there. Alright, so the first game of the week that kicked off on Friday night, Port Adelaide 2017, 137, defeated Carlton. 6, 11, 47. If I'm looking up here, it is because I have uh, the, I uh, like the goals and the behinds because obviously you can't remember it off the top of your head. Uh, uh, written up here for me to see and I also got some of the best plays and all that. So if I'm looking up there a bit, that is why. The goals that were kicked for Port Adelaide, Robbie Gray had five, Trango with three, Johnson with two, Dixon with two, Pollock with two, Young with two, and then uh, Wingard, Sam Gray, Broadbent, and uh, Westoff all got one goal. And for Carlton, uh, Levi Casbolt got four goals, Jack Silvani with one, and Bryce Gibbs with one. The best on ground for both teams for Port Adelaide, Robbie Gray starred with obviously five goals. Uh, and then Ebert, Trango, Broadbent, 
uh, Wingard, Pinard, and Vines all played well as well. Whereas for Carlton, uh, Casbolt, Cripps, and Simpson were their best goals. Injury wise, Carlton had no one being injured, but for Port Adelaide, Boak obviously, uh, I'm sure you'd all know that Boak was injured. Uh, a hammy and then uh, Hartlett with a quad as well and the crowd was all up 43,120 which isn't bad you know I, th I think that's definitely a pass for a Port Adelaide Carlton game so uh, yeah not a bad turnout there. For the Doggies versus Brisbane Lions the game finished 1720 122 to 14690 obviously Brisbane kicked a lot better than Brisbane Bulldogs. Uh, Brisbane Bulldogs, Western Bulldogs. Uh, the goal kickers for the Doggies. Stringer had three as well as Dunkley. McLean got two. And then uh, Adams, Boyd, Picken, Murphy, McRae, JJ Joe, Joe Anderson, <laughs> uh, Bonton Pelly. Dalhouse and Smith all ended up with a goal each. So a lot of goal kickers there. And then for Brisbane, we had Hipwood with three. He had a good game. Lester with two. Keys with two. Zorko with two. And then Taylor, Claybeams, Robinson, McCluggage and Rockwith all got one goal. Best on ground for both teams for the Doggies. Uh, McRae, Picken, Dalhouse, Dunkley, Stringer and Bonton Pelly starred. Whereas the Brisbane Lions, their best players were Taylor, Zorko, Adam, uh, not Adams, freaking uh, Dane Beams, Mixday, Martin, and Robinson. Uh, the injuries for this game, the three all up. The doggies uh, for them, Matthew Boyd and Dunkley, uh, one with a head, one with a hip injury, and then for the Brisbane Lions, uh, Zorko with an eye injury. The all up crowd was three, 31,822 at Eddie Had. Wasn't. Uh, I don't know, I guess that's about par for that type of game. Moving on for uh, the Gold Coast and Adelaide game, 23-15-153, defeated 13-8-86. Uh, the goals for Gold Coast, Archie with 5, Lynch with 2, Hall with 2, Matera with 2, Sexton and Swallow both with 1 each. And then Eddie Betts got 3 goals. Lynch with uh, three goals. Uh, currently, Hampton had two. Cameron with two. Knight with two. Walker with two. Menzel with two. Otten with it with two. Matt Crouch, Sloan, Atkins, Brown, and Smith all also got a goal. The best on ground for the Gold Coast Suns: Ablett, Sard, Archie, Barlow, and Leslie all played the best for them. Whereas for Adelaide, Atkins, Sloan. Matt Crouch, Laird, Lynch, and Brad Crouch were the best. Injuries for the Gold Coast, none of them. And then for Adelaide, obviously Talia went off very early in the first quarter with a hamstring injury and night as well. Official crowd, 12,672. Like, we all knew they were going to get smashed, probably. Uh, that's probably why the numbers were so low, to be honest. <laughs> All right, moving on to the Sydney versus GWS game. Uh, and we had uh, Greater Western Sydney Giants defeating Sydney. <laughs> the little brother beats the big brother, as they're saying it. 15-15-105, defeated 9-9-63. With uh, goals for uh, Franklin, he had three, brought up his 800. Uh, Tippett, Kennedy, Papley, Rowan, Sinclair, and Parker all got a goal as well. Whereas Toby Green had four goals, Cameron with two, Smith with two, and then Patton, Lobb, Johnson, Ward, Tomlinson, uh, Williams, and Reed all also got involved on the score sheet. The best player for Sydney, the best players were uh, Kennedy, Hanbury, Lloyd, and Jones, and then for the Greater Western Sydney Giants, Mumford, Scully, Green, Cameron, Haynes, Williams, and Davis. So, um, so yeah, in the first quarter, uh, Sydney came out all guns blazing, and then GWS obviously used blitz them for the rest of the game. Uh, injuries, there were none for both teams, and uh, there was a report on Toby Green for rough conduct, but he was cleared of that. 
The official crowd was 34,824 at the SCG. Um, I think I think they'd take that. Fremantle, 9 1367 defeated North Melbourne, 9 8 62. Obviously, the winning goal there from Shane Kirsten. The goals, two for Langdon, uh, McCarthy, Low Crozier, uh, Hill, Gray, Johnson, and Kirsten also got involved. Whereas for North Melbourne, they had Turner, Wood, Cunnington, Simkin, Atley, Goldstein, Dumont, Brown, and Ho Rovat all with a goal each. The best on ground for uh, both teams. Frio had uh, Mundy, Johnson, Fife, Sandilands, Hill, Hamling, and Gray as their best players. Whereas North Melbourne's were Cunnington, Williams, Dumont, McMillan, and Tarrant. Injuries, obviously Stephen Hill had that hammy, whereas Goldstein also got hurt with an ankle and, and uh, also Sean Higgins with some hamstring tightness was replaced before the game. Uh, and then an official crowd of 33,319. The Saints and the Cats. The Cats got up 19-12, defeated 13-10, 88 to bring them to 5-0 and as well. The goals, Minchington had 3, Membry had 2, and then Stephen, Rewalt, Bruce, Akers, Ross, Weller, Dunstan, and Nunes all had a goal each to their name, whereas Menzel, Lang, Hawkins, Dangerfield, Nakai Cockatoo, and Black. They all got two goals each. And Hornsmith, Mackie, Guthrie, Taylor, Duncan, Selwood, and Murdoch all got a goal each for Geelong. The best on ground for St Kilda, Jack Stevens, Seb Ross, uh, Dylan Robinson, I forgot Minchington's first name, <laughs> Brown and Steele. Whereas for Geelong, Joel Selwood absolutely starred. Dangerfield also had a pretty good game. Hornsmith had a breakout game. And then Tui and Blitzovs as well. The injuries longer had a hip injury, uh, Hawkins with a cork tip, and then also uh, Rui <laughs> with a right ankle injury. And then the official credit was 33,884 at Etihad Stadium. Only three more games to cover now, guys. Whee! Hawthorne 1911-125 defeated the West Coast Eagles 11-975 uh, in a massive game for the Hawks. They came out and showed that uh, they're not all they're not all down. Uh, the goals O'Brien and Bruce. Uh, as well as Ruffy and Gunston all had three. Sicily had two and then Shields, Piopolo, Berglund, McAvoy and Rioli all popped up with one each. Four, West Coast Starling had four. Shuey had two. Hill had two. Cripps, and, Cripps, Kennedy and Redden all also had a goal each. Best on ground, four Hawthorne, Mitchell, O'Brien, Rioli, Berglund, McAvoy, Bruce and Gibson all had a goal uh, not a goal, they were all the best players. And then for West Coast, Shuey, Prittis, Darling, Barris and Gaff all played well. Injuries, Smith with a knee injury, Shepard with also a knee injury and Cripps with a leg injury. And then the official crowd was 28,997 at the MCG. Uh, you, you would have asked for more at the G, but... Speaking of the G, we have two major games to go over here, and they are Richmond versus Melbourne, the Anzac Day Eve clash. I was there, were you? Uh, so 12-16-88 defeated 11-9-75. The goals, Jack Rewalt kicked six, Castagna, Butler, Greg Rioli, Martin and Caddy all had one to their name as well. And then for Melbourne, Hogan with three, Garlett with two, McDonald, Watts, Petrarca, Salem, Hibbert, and Hunt all also had a goal. The best on ground for uh, Richmond, Rewalt, and Curvis, Martin, Hooley, Grigg, Caddy, and Cochin. And then for Melbourne, Oliver, Hibbert. Hibbert had a good game. Hunt, uh, Nathan Jones, Frost, and Petrarca. No injuries for Richmond, but uh, for Melbourne, Petrarca had a left knee injury, and then uh, Spencer had. Uh, also an injury. I'm not quite sure what his injury was though. Smith had a rib injury, obviously, as you'll know, and then Viney right knee. And then the official crowd, 85,657 at the G. Absolutely massive crowd. Absolutely great atmosphere. 
And speaking of that, our final game to cover was the Anzac Day game. Obviously, Joe Hanneher, Joe Hanneher, Joe Danaher won the won the Anzac medal. So good, on, good on him. They had 87,685 there, and they got to see 15-10-100 Essendon defeat 11-16-82 Collingwood. The goals, Fantasia popped up with four, Green with three, Danaher with three, Hooker with three, and then Francis and Hebel both with one to their name. For the Pies, Elliot had three, and then Moore and Wells also had two, and then Sidebottom for Solo, Trelaw, and Chris also had a goal to their name. The best on ground for Essendon, Danaher, Merritt, Parrish, Hurley, Watson, Fantasia, McDonald, Tip and Woody, and Kelly. Also had a fantastic game, Kelly. And then for Collingwood, Howe, Wells, Trelaw, obviously, <laughs> Sidebottom, and Elliot. Uh, the injuries, there was a cut, uh, Joe Watson had a cut head, and then Tim Broomhead uh, with a jaw injury, and then Brody Grundy with a corked calf. Didn't really hear much about all that, but <laughs> I, guess, I guess if the website says it happened, it did. Uh, so yeah, Joe Danaher, Joe Danaher won the Anzac Day medal. That is about it for this uh, first wrap-up. Sorry, I'm a bit rusty on this stuff. But um, I thought it was alright for what it was. I mean, it will definitely get better in the future. Uh, with A4 Evolution coming out, you won't have to see my face for like 10 minutes. You'll have to see gameplay, so enjoy that. Anyway, guys, hopefully you'll have enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure to smile button and subscribe. I'm Kate. Okay, until next time, see you.